Today, we're talking about LUTs. What the f is a LUT? Well, a LUT is short for lookup table. It's basically a set of numbers that changes the color of an image. Think of it like a preset or a look. And that's exactly what I wanna show you how to do today is design a look in Lightroom that you can save as a LUT and use to grade your footage with in Premiere. So let's go. First, you need to download this free software. I put the link in the description below. Now I'm gonna open up Premiere. I just put together a quick edit here. I'm gonna go through and select a frame that I like to use as a sample for designing the look. Once I find it, I'm gonna click export frame, title it whatever you want, save it to your desktop, and hit okay. So here's my still. Now open up the LUT generator and click generate hauled. Save that to your desktop as well. Now open up Lightroom and import both those files. I'm just gonna adjust the highlights and shadows until I get the exposure that I want. Bring the saturation down a bit. Add a bit of a fade with the tone curve. And then just tweak the exposure a little bit. Now in terms of color, make the red a little more orange, orange a little more red, the aqua more blue, make the blues quite a bit more teal. And then the magenta, I'm gonna make a little more red. Now for saturation, I'm gonna bring up the warm tones and then bring down the cool tones a bit. And for split toning, I want the highlights to be a little warmer and I'm gonna put some blue into the shadows. It's starting to look like that classic teal and orange film look, which is cool. I'm gonna go with that. Unfortunately, you can't use these parameters to affect the LUT, so we're not gonna worry about those. Go to your image thumbnail and right click and go to develop settings and copy settings. Click copy. Now go to the file that we generated, right click, develop settings and paste settings. Now go up to file, export, save it to your desktop, name it whatever you want. Uh, call it film LUT. Now make sure you save it as a JPEG. Uh, the color space is RGB and the resolution is 72. And click export. Now open up the LUT generator one more time and click convert to cube. Open the file that we just exported from Lightroom and click OK. And here's our LUT that we're gonna import into Premiere. Now when using LUTs, I like to apply it to the whole timeline so the look is consistent across the board. To do that, uh, we're gonna add a new adjustment layer and drag that all the way across our timeline. Now go up to Window and open up Lumetri Color. Uh, click on the adjustment layer. Now under creative, where it says look, import the LUT that you just saved. Just make sure it's the cube file. And there's the look we just made in Lightroom. Uh, you can adjust the intensity. You can back it off a little bit if you want. So now that look is applied to all my footage. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below so others can learn as well. Hit subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and thanks for watching.